how are you all doing? Welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here today. I want to share my September favorites with you. And so I hope it's not too late. I know we're like well into October, but <clears throat> I had a minute to just sit down and film it and I hope you like it. And I only have a few things, so I'll just go ahead and get started. Um, well, hang on. Let me tell you first of all, if my eyelashes look wonky, I'm trying to get back a little bit. <laughs> Because I used um, dark tone glue and I already had my eyelashes curled and had mascara on them and I just can't do that and then put on false lashes because they just like won't, it's, it's bad. Um, but anyway, the dark tone glue kind of got like on my lid and stuff. So if you're thinking that something looks a little off, that's probably what it is. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you my first favorite for the month of September and this is something that I've been using almost every single day and this is from Neutrogena it's the healthy skin foundation the shade I have is nude 40 and I am wearing that today and I love it um, I've actually had this for a long time but my skin tone changes like you know I change my skin color like most people change their underwear because I'm just always either self-tanning or I'm not or I'm like at different levels of self-tanning and um, when I'm paler like I am now this matches me really well and I have dry skin so it's it's luminous and good for people with dry skin really really like this next thing I have um, is an eyeshadow this is from Sephora and this is one of the outrageous prismachrome shadows this one's an outrageous metallic beige and they do still have these on the Sephora website for $7. Highly recommend these. And this is my favorite color out of the ones that I have. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It looks pretty wet or dry. It's just a very metallic champagne kind of color. And it's a fabulous all over the lid color. Love it. Um, I have another eyeshadow, and this one is from MAC. This is called Charcoal Brown, and it's a matte shade. And this is like totally basic, um, kind of boring probably, but I reach for this so often for my crease. It's just so easy, and it's that perfect shade that I love for the crease that I feel like looks best on me with almost any makeup look, like no matter what other colors or you know cheek and lip combo I'm going for this just works with every single look you could ever want and I really like the texture of it it's just a really uh, cool tone medium brown color and I love it next up is a lip product and it's what I'm wearing right now it's a Revlon lip butter in strawberry shortcake and it is just the perfect light pink. It's completely creamy. It's not one of the ones that have shimmer, like um, Peach Parfait and Berry Smoothie, I know, are two that have like that gritty shimmer. And I love those two. But um, just if you're wondering, this one is completely creamy, uh, really shiny and glossy. And I love the feel on the lips. And, um, you know, it doesn't compete with anything that you're wearing on your eyes but it's not completely nude so I really really enjoy that shade in particular and then another lip product I have is from Essence and this is the XXXL shine lip gloss in nude kiss my friend Kristen sent this to me in a swap we did I'll just go ahead and put some on for you it probably go really well with this lip butter these are so nice and shiny they smell good, um, pretty pigmented for a, a lip gloss. It's right there. And I have a couple of other ones uh, of the same lip gloss and I love them all. So definitely recommend those. You can find these Ulta. They are so cheap. That whole Essence line is so inexpensive and I love it. All right, guys, I just have two more things. Um, one of them is an eyeshadow base and this is from Sigma. And this is called Persuade. And this is from, they have like um, different kits. Like this one came with two other bases. And this one is um, the, the Bear Kit. So it's like neutral colors. But my favorite one is definitely this one in Persuade. 
because it's a matte skin tone color. And I've been using this almost every day just as a really easy eyeshadow base. I just put my finger in there, put it on. But I was wanting to try the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I probably like won't try this while I have this because I feel like it's, from what I've seen, it's very, very similar. Um, it does give you some coverage, like if you have any redness or veins on your eyes, um, this covers them up and gives you like a really nice canvas for your eyeshadows. So I've really been enjoying that. And last but not least is a nail polish. This is from OPI. And this is called My Vampire is Buff. How appropriate for Halloween, right? <laughs> but it's um, a really pretty nude color. I actually have it on right now. It's very opaque. This is two coats. I have to show you this hand because this one is like way chipped. But anyway, um, I wanted something that wasn't pink but wasn't white. And this is the perfect combination of that. It's just a nude color. And I think it, you know, it looks really clean on your hands. And I just like it. So that is it, guys. I'm just going to sit here and drink my smoothie. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be a green smoothie. It's a little bit brown though. <laughs> it's like when strawberries and spinach mix, it's just like it, it turns brown, but it still tastes good. So anyway, <laughs> I really hope you guys had a great September and I hope you're having a wonderful October. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look in the info bar and I will list all my links for you, like where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. And I think that's it for today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.